A picture that some see as racially insensitive has rocked Chicago's first ward aldermanic campaign. The candidate calls the photo ridiculous, but not racist. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has a snapshot of the developing controversy. First ward aldermanic candidate Daniel Laspada uncomfortable and embarrassed. I apologize for any offense that we've caused. Offense caused by this photo, taken six years ago at La Spada's Millennium Park bachelor party. La Spada dressed in a banana costume, his friends in monkey masks, joined by a group of black children whose faces we've obscured. It was silly, it was ridiculous. The kids in the photo were watching. They thought it was hilarious, and so they wanted to take a photo with us, and so we let them. I think the photo in the context uh, with those young men is what conveys the offense. Because I do recognize the harmful racial stereotypes that are portrayed in that context. The picture was on Laspada's public Facebook page, but it was circulated and highlighted by his political opponent, First Ward Alderman Joe Moreno. Moreno told CBS2, this type of intolerance and insensitivity has no place in Chicago, the First Ward, or anywhere. But Laspada claims Moreno's simply trying to change the subject. I would not put it past them to try to distract from the implosion of Alderman Moreno's campaign under the weight of his own unethical behaviors. Moreno still under investigation by Chicago police into whether he falsely reported his car stolen by a girlfriend it was later revealed he'd allowed to drive the vehicle. But La Spada's not dodging blame for the photo. In retrospect, was taking the photo a mistake? I believe so. Yes, and I apologize for that. All right, Derek joins us now from the newsroom. And Derek, if this picture was on La Spada's Facebook page for a while, why didn't he take it down? That's a very good question, Rob, and La Spada had no real answer for that other than to say it was a personal and professional error for him not to have taken it down earlier. As you might expect, it has now been removed from his Facebook page. All right, Derek Blakely, live in the newsroom. Thank you.